Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Do keep in mind this is a general love weekend reading. Some messages may or may not resonate for you over this weekend. It's okay. Keep coming back. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo, let's take a look at your weekend. I don't even know what the what is the what is the date? <laughs> I think I should probably look that up. I mean, does it really matter? The messages resonate um, the way they're meant to resonate. So um, May 12th through the 14th, and for some of you who are, oops, sorry, who are moms, happy Mother's Day here in the United States. And, uh, and if you're not in the United States, happy Mother's Day to you anyway. Okay, so let's get started. Let's take a look at Friday and see what the messages are for Friday. Also, personal reading link is below in the description box, so you can book your reading again with me, okay? Or you can book a reading if you're new. Okay, so Friday, getting to know each other, Virgo. Very good. You have engagement. You guys, I swear I shuffled these cards. Is this going to be a repeat from yesterday? Okay, Saturday you have engagement, and... Sunday, you have It Is Safe For You To Love. Wow, nice start to the weekend, Virgo. Okay, let's take a look. So, getting to know somebody, Virgo. Maybe you're connecting with someone over this weekend, okay, romantically. Uh, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, you could be connecting or meeting someone. Um, don't come at me, Virgo, if you're not leaving your house. <laughs> okay, so you've got the moon. This could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Uh, there's an opening up. There's a, a revealing. Someone revealing their feelings to you over this weekend. Let's see what else. Okay. The star. Wow. Aquarius energy as well. You could have a Pisces Aquarius cusp or Aquarius Pisces cusp. I'm sorry. Am I saying that backwards? No. Aquarius Pisces cusp. Oh my gosh. Virgo. Someone's hidden feelings. They are. They're going to reveal it to you. Um. And you know what, Virgo? Um, deep hidden feelings and um, a healing energy for some of you and also a renewing of love and a renewing of the spirit. And a lot of communication on Friday. Like, good news. Positive vibes, positive news. You guys, I feel like this is going to be a quick reading. Um, so please forgive me for that. But short and sweet for the weekend and I know you got plans <laughs> I know you got stuff to do but right Virgo's always got stuff to do so this news is going to come in really fast okay Virgo you're going to hear from someone it's going to be really quick and there's going to be like this somebody just coming out like the the waterfall like a waterfall it's, it's spilling uh, it starts to come out a little bit as you talk with this person um and there's a renewal of spirit and hope and as you and this person converse it just comes out a little like a drip and then all of a sudden someone turns the water on and it's like full-blown emotions sharing their feelings with you okay eight of wands every single time good news and this is going to happen quickly okay um so whether you're opening up to someone or another person is opening up to you virgo I definitely feel like this energy is going to be exchange of two major arcanas here. Um, I mean, I just, like Virgo, I, I don't know who you're talking to. Um, you could be renewing something with somebody. Maybe you're, somebody could be sending you, um, okay, they just said somebody could be sending you an email exposing how they feel. Or there's maybe a love letter, a, an exchange of some sort, or a text, or something. Um but it starts off kind of slow and then it just builds and it builds and it just goes beautifully it could be a, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn as well okay but if it's not any you know if, if you are talking to someone they're none of these signs don't sweat it all right let me just see the moon show Virgo the moon I like this there's there's a there's an opportunity um, that will come about Friday for revealing oh okay oh wow someone's also going to tell you 
All right, a couple of messages here. If there's someone you're reconnecting with, they will tell you why they ghosted you and try to heal this connection or what might have happened. And also, um, I feel like someone's going to kind of reveal their fantasies or, you know, say something like, you are such a mystery, you are so unique, I'm so intrigued by you, that kind of energy. I mean, it's really like, Virgo, it's a good ego boost, that's for sure. But it's also, um, there's a lot of Cupid's arrows and, and love happening here. There's a lot of like good good feelings. It's such a good vibration. So Saturday, you've got engagement. All right, well, that's moving quickly. Um, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to happen. It could. For some of you, this could go right from, hey, let's talk, let's heal it, let's get married, uh, or let's get engaged. And for others, you know, let's, let's deepen this relationship. It, it, it's, it, even if they're not saying that, it's like engaging with, with one another. And I feel like heading in that direction. Okay, so you got a love weekend happening and this might be a little bit related to yesterday's reading and I would go check that out if you missed it okay show Virgo Saturday okay making a decision to, oh my gosh Virgo um, two two decision cards here two twos two of cups and two of pentacles somebody I really feel like has been weighing things out balancing things out uh, realizes that you're both on the same page um, there's a mutual understanding you're like completely mirroring each other here there is definitely a new start to romance and even with that caduceus there there's a uh, healing that's like medicine that's like you know drinking the love potion the love elixir here there's something here where something is beginning to happen okay now whether that's somebody you're reconnecting with or somebody you're connecting with on Saturday, there's just this, okay, this is my person. The opportunity, it comes, Virgo. The opportunity arrives here. This And someone here definitely feels like I'm ready to invest. You know, I've been weighing things out. I've been thinking about things. I know, you know, um, I'm ready for this in my life. Um, connecting with you. It's like I realize I see myself in you and there's it's just I don't know like you complete me. <laughs> it's a Jerry Maguire moment. I'm sorry. I I I haven't watched anything since. It's just my absolute favorite movie. And I don't know why. It's just maybe because I love football and I love Tom Cruise and that's so old. That movie's like 30 years old now, but it's Jerry Maguire all over the place for the romantics. So it's, you know, and it's kind of along the same lines of that story. She wanted him. He was like, okay. He was hurt from a past relationship and he was trying to find himself. And they met at the, it was the wrong timing and they got married. And then he didn't seem to really be into her and she felt rejected. So she left. And then it was when he went through these major changes in his life. If you haven't watched the movie, you should, if you're a romantic at heart. And he went through these major like wake up calls and life changes. And he had this mission statement and he was trying to figure out the purpose for his life. And then after he figured it all out, something was still missing. And he realized it was Renee Zellweger. And he went back and he was like, you complete me. You're it for me. You've been it the whole time. And I'm just an idiot. And I've been an idiot. <laughs> Good Lord, <clears throat> let me, <clears throat> excuse me, let me get myself all rested up here. Okay, so here we have the King of Wands. So for some of you, this could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag, okay? But the King of Wands, whoever they are, coming into that King of Wands energy, bold, feisty, confident, powerful, charming, courageous, self-assured. So this person taking on the fire energy of passion, of drive, of ambition, you know, on fire for you, on fire for life, ready to go. Absolutely ready to go. Okay. So Virgo, Friday and Saturday. And let me just caveat this here. If you get through your weekend and Sunday comes, you're like, none of this happened. Well, you just you wait, Virgo, because if it doesn't happen this weekend, I'm just doing the reading this weekend. But if it doesn't happen this weekend, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. 
<coughs> and all y'all can uh, roll reverse for the Jerry Maguire, masculine and feminine. Okay, if you want, or just listen to the reading, click off and go have some pizza, tacos, burritos, whatever it is y'all eat there in the chat. Sushi. Oh, I see you. I see you all. Okay, Sunday. It is safe for you to love. Okay. Yep, it is safe for you to come out of your hidden, your hiding place, Virgo. Okay? That's six of swords. It is safe for you to take, make this move. Relocate. Make this transition. It's necessary. You need to. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay? And somebody here willing to relocate, willing to move in with you, willing to cross that threshold with you here making those moves they know this person's like it's time you're dealing with someone here who is not just going to say they're ready and not do anything they're going to show you okay their mental is already in place like they've already mentally put themselves where they would like to go and the physical now to go with you just has to come after right we always mentally we always get somewhere first we always think about where we want to go and then our feet take us there and you know our, our, our thoughts are leading the way there so this person is already assured of where they want to go there's they're seeking peace they want to make this transition maybe you live across the water from this person or maybe across the lake let me see here uh, they invite you to move in or they invite you to come see them um, or they come and pick you up and you guys go out on Sunday uh, to a place where Virgo it kind of feels to me I don't know why I'm getting this vibe but it kind of feels to me you're like tiptoeing your way through this here like you're, you're putting your little you're putting your toe in the water just to check make sure you're not yeah you're because you feel like all right is this safe let me just make sure okay <laughs> which is fine Virgo okay yeah there's somebody here yeah they're gonna pay for a trip or uh, on Sunday or they're gonna talk about it or communicate something about a trip connecting with you on Sunday they have these big plans and all these ideas and things that they want to do and they're seeing things like real it's real this is reality Pentacles to me are always like grounded in reality ideas plans things they want to do they might ask you um, you know, if you want to go somewhere with them, uh, or, you know, uh, for future plans going forward, let me see what else, okay, wow, I mean, this person's, like, in this position of fighting for this, this is crazy, this is absolutely crazy, I mean, they're basically not going to back down, like, they, they want you, Virgo, this person wants you, okay, even to the point where they're cutting other people out, they're cutting other people out. Look, if listen, whoever those other people are, they're like, give me back my swords. They're breaking some they're breaking someone's heart or other people's hearts. Anyone who's interested in them, because that person there is standing there with the three of swords. Two swords are on the ground of made my decision. I don't I'm not interested in anybody else. Anybody tries to reach out to them, they already found you. Okay, so I feel like whoever this person is, Virgo, it's on. <laughs> I mean, it is so on. It's not even, I don't even know what to say. It, it's an energy here of, like, it's almost hard to believe. I mean, yeah, it's kind of a fairy tale. I mean, it's totally, I'm going to watch Jerry Maguire tonight. I love that movie. And I usually watch it around Christmas. I don't know why. Christmas is like my, that's the time of year I watch that movie. I'm not really sure why. Okay, so let me see what your messages of love are and then i'm gonna end out the reading okay retreat time alone or in nature will help you recharge so i see you guys doing a getaway absolutely retreating together time alone together this is getting to know each other and maybe over the weekend or making plans future plans to um spend some time alone to get to know each other absolutely virgo okay let me see oh not going to take all that. Okay, put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen this relationship. That's a specific message for someone. Um, actually, push yourselves away from your phones. If you're in a long distance and you talk on the phone or you Skype or you FaceTime or you see each other or however, whatever method you use, 
put push back away from those computers and get those plans and get together. This is a getting together. This is someone, if you're in that situation saying, you know what, I'm done with the computer. I'm not working. I want to spend time with you. I don't want to keep seeing you on the phone or things like that. This is an LDR I'm talking about. Um, I want to see you in person. I want us to be together. Okay, and I'm going to make those plans and take that trip or just communicate and, and tell you how I feel and I'm ready to do this. Okay, I've already decided you're, you're it for me. If you're not in a long distance thing, this is just an energy of like, we're, you know what, I'm not working through the weekend. I've taken time off because I want to spend time with you. Will you do the same? Okay, so I mean, Virgo, I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I know it was short. I know you guys like the long ones, but when it comes to the weekend, you know, I'm ready to roll on the weekend. And I just want to leave you this message. And like I said, keep positive, keep faithful, have your faith. Don't worry about hopes and wishes and dreams right now. Um, you can get to that point when this person comes in and understand that if they don't show up this weekend. That's fine. They're coming. Virgo, they're coming. All right, have a great weekend, everyone, and I will see you all back here Sunday at 1 p.m. for the live stream Q&A. Make sure you become a member so you can join us in the chat and ask the questions you want to ask, and I'll do mini readings for you. You can also book a reading with me now. I am back. You can also book one with Brandy if I'm booked up. All right, you guys, great weekend. I'll see you all soon. Bye.